Hello guys, I am server operator for allisgames.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a basic NS2 dedicated server. As you can see, this is Natural Selections 2 home site. We're going to click on community and then we're going to go back to the main forum where, where we can see all their categories. Here we're going to look for server discussion. Once we click on this, we are going to look for dedicated server information. Here to your right is their direct link for their Wikipedia page. And in their Wikipedia page is all the information that you need to create your own NS2 server. So first thing they want you to do is to download Steam CMD program. So now we're going to click on this link. And I have Windows 7. Swedish version, so I'm going to choose Windows 7 installer. As you can see, it's currently downloaded. There we go, and I'm just going to drag this over to the desktop. <clears throat> what we need to do is to open up the zip folder, and then we're going to drag out Steam CMD. So before double clicking on this uh, program, we are going to have it a little bit organized. So I'm going to choose um, the C drive and I'm going to create a category called NS2 Rocks. Inside this, I will create a new category called Steam CMD. So, what I want to do is to open up this category and then drag this file over there. Once I dragged, I'm just going to double click this. And what it does right now is downloading the latest version of the software. This is the first thing you have to do before um, making any type of commanding to create your own NS2 server. So there we go. We have uh, successfully updated the file. So what we need to do right now is to log in with your Steam account. If you do not have a Steam account, you can just open up your browser and then write steampower.com then here download steam install it and then create the can using that program there's one out of many solution how to create your own steam account let's go back to the program first thing first you need to log in so write in login account name in this tutorial I'm going to choose this one and then the password. When you do this for, for the first time, it will ask for ver verification. So it will uh, ask, oh, it didn't. There we go, it didn't. Great. But usually if it does, you should go into your uh, email address linked to that account. And then you write login and then account name, and then the password. And after that, you write in the specific word, the code itself. So, and then click enter, and then you will have, which you have in above, uh, login in user, blah, 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 to Steam public success. Once this is done, we need to do the following. If you look in the um, NS2 Wikipedia, it's installing the dedicated server. So first of all, they want us to um, give a path where we, we want to install the NS2 uh, category. So in our case, we want to install it where we put the Steam CMD, not in the folder itself, but having it right next to it. Maybe I want, I want to have it over here, server one. So uh, let's look again at the command. There we go. So the command is the following, force install director. So force install director, and then we choose the director, which is, if I remember it correctly, there we go. Okay. See uh, NS2 rocks, and then server one. And then I press enter. And now it's done. Now what I have to do is to validate so the Steam CMD knows what 
game I'm going to download. And the validation is the following. 4940, that's the for NS2. So we're going to write app update 4940 validate. Then press enter. Now I have downloaded all the files and I close down the Steam CMD. So let's open up the folder for NS2. Inside of here I want to organize everything. So I'm going to create a new category called config. I'm going to double click config folder. Inside of here I want to create a new text file called server txt. Open up this text file. And here we are going to organize by adding all the commands that you want to have for your server. All the commands is listed in the NS2 dedicated server Wikipedia. Here is a lot of commands. <coughs> so what we are going to do now is to make it very, very quick. We're going to take my old config file from uh, my other server. It's going to open up it here. There we go. I'm just going to copy paste this to the server txt file. So there we go. Here is the port command. I'm going to choose in this tutorial this port. And I'm going to choose NS2 Rock as a server name. So basically what this means, port, it tells what port it should load on, and then the map, and after that the limit on how many players you want to have, and then the name. As you can see here, I have parentheses, name, parentheses. If you have like this, not good. Always have parentheses. So after that, we have a config pad. This is very important because this loads from a specific folder all the files for your, for your uh, server. So in this tutorial we created the config folder in a, our server. So the following path for this is NS2 rocks then server1 and then config because we created config folder here in the server1. That's good. And after that we have mode storage. It's the same thing, but it only loads modes. So we're gonna have the same path, but we're gonna change the ending of it. So I want to um, copy paste that, and I wanna change this here to modes. So what we have to do is to create mode folder called modes. Or, oh, we all already have it. I did it <laughs> accidentally before starting the records. But anyways, this wasn't supposed to be here, but now it is. But anyways, we created this now, and there we go. Everything seems to be fine. We have the port, we have the map, we have the limit, we have the name, config path, where it's going to load all the config file for your server, and the mode storage, where it's going to load all the modes for your server. Now let's save this. Once this is done, we are going to scroll down until we see server.exe. And as you can see, I already accidentally already created a shortcut. But let's do it again. Delete this. Oops. Now, right click. And then um, settings, I think this is in English. <laughs> and after that, we are going to... No, now I did wrong. Crap. Right click, create shortcut. Haha. -ha. Now we create a shortcut. And what we're going to do is to right click the shortcut, click on settings, and here we're going to write the, the command for loading a file. So we're going to write line, file, then print reads, and then the path where the file is. So we put the server.exe file in the config file over here. 
So the path is NS2 rocks server one config and then server txt. There we go. So this will load this file. And this file is going to load the other files. Because what the server is going to generate all the, the files as uh, the, the map, the admin, the band, and so on. All that. So let's start up our new server. But before we do this, we need to open up the ports. So in your network, you just write in so you can uh, communicate with your router. Like this, I'm using Tomato. Very good program. One of the best. I totally recommend this. The port for thing, it's over there. And I already created. And I choose in the port 27700. As you can see here, you should always have one port above also because uh, the query port is always one port above. So having like this. It's good. And then your um, the IP address for your PC. And also it needs to open up both TCP and UDP. And uh, the IP the IP of your TC is very easy to f to figure that out. It's used to go to your start and then go to search and write CMD enter and once you open up this you write in config. I mean, sorry, I mean IP config. There we go. Here is my IPv4 address. And this is what you write in over here for your router. There we go. Now everything seems to be working great. I hope so. And let's see by just testing this. Clicking now, it looks good looks very promising and there we go voila now you created your first ns2 server i really recommend you to have access for your own server so let's start by doing this let's start up by opening up steam going into natural selection 2 double click open so let's find our server click on play there we go ns2 rocks rookie friendly Woohoo! so we're going to join this and we are connecting. Ooh, I'm so nervous. Yes. Loading map. Oh, there we go. So now we alt tab it. And as you can see here in the server exe file, you can see the connection, Steam ID, and Poofighter, which is me. So this is the NS2 Steam ID. This is what you need to um, edit your uh, server admin file. So now let's go back to your server folder again and see what's happened once we created the server for the first time. As you notice, we have a lot of new JSON files here. We have map cycle, we got server admin, we got server config, and consistency checking. They all have purposes. Map cycle, it's where you choose the map and order, and I don't like this way of writing. Same with the um, server admin, I think this is confusing. So let's just open up my secret config file for one of my servers. Open up map cycle. This is how we should look like. I like structure. Time, 10 minutes. So when you are playing in an S2 round and it ends less than 10 minutes and we will have the same map again. And then we get mode, random or order. Random, random between the maps, order is one by one, the top to the, and then underneath and so on and so on. And here you, you write in all the maps. If you want to add a new map, you just write NS2 uh, I love OEG and like this and you will have new map and also you need to write this um, comma and not comma at the last one just one before the last one if you wonder why 
I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a coder, but just just do that, and it will work. <laughs> After that, we got the server admin file, and this is how it looks for one of my servers. <coughs> As you can see, I have the admin group, and the admin groups has the following commands, all of this here, all the way to the ending of the bracket, which is uh, out of balance. The mode group has uh, not as many commands, but still got a lot of commands. So you can add more groups by uh, just uh, creating and reshaping whatever you want, you can call this mood uh, player. But once you make a groups, you need to go to the users, which you can see down here. And in the groups tag, you need to write in the bracket here. For example, I want to call flydon mode player, so he will get all the permissions for the mode player, which is all of these here. So there we go. And what you do here, as you can see, uh, all those gamers and then the ID. So you take the ID from the server, this one here, and you put it in there. And also, when you add more users, uh, you you can't have it like this to comma like this. You need to have, in this case, like that. If you're going to add more users. Then you add comma like this. So not comma at the last one. The same one above in the groups here. If you can see, uh, there's no comma over there. So this is wrong, and this is right. So you can just play along. You can look in the Wikipedia page for NS2 for more information. Uh, oh, oh, here we go before I forget server config file this is how my server config file looks I have a end round on team on balance 0 0.5 which means when two teams are fighting in a match and 50% of one of the team are have raged then the game will end because it's too unfair also team balance is basically if there is a match going on and two guys leave a team then it's unfair 10 against 8 so then two of the guys of the team who has the most player won't be playing until it's fair of course those player will be random like a um, First he plays and then another guy plays and if they die then someone else will be playing. So it, 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 it will go in like in a fair line where who's going to play and not play. Now I'm, and I'm just babbling a lot of crap. Anyways, then we got tags. If you write in the tags, rookie, then you have a green beautiful text in your server allowing new players to enter. Of course, the old school player will not be able to abuse this function by going in and only the new players of course not so when you write in rookie you will have the green text will be rookie friendly server if you write ns2 you will have a standard ns2 server so now you know all the basics and um, hope you like this tutorial 